Okay, so now, these brackets are hung from the prior hanging, but see how I have kind of a long span between that one and that one? Maybe this is a good opportunity to go ahead and put up an extra one, just to illustrate how to do it. The cool thing about this is, these are sitting all about the same distance from this upper trim board that's running around the room, okay? Um, maybe a cornice is what that's called? I don't, I forget, or I don't know. Uh, the big thing of when you're hanging these brackets, how high do you hang the bracket? Well, the 84 inch um, vein runs all the way down to almost hitting the floor right here. I don't like to cut the veins, and this window is a full length all the way down to the floor window. Kind of unusual. This window over here, though, is not. See how the window is still two, three feet off the ground? But the veins run all the way down, because that way I don't have to cut them all with the scissors. That saves me a lot of time, and it still looks real nice when it's closed, even though it's hanging long. So people don't have to know what the window looks like behind the curtain, right? When you close this, let's see if I can close it quickly, and back up a little, back up, there we go. Well, you can see, so even though I left the veins full length, um, they still look fine, even though the window doesn't go that far. They hide the outlet and that kind of stuff. It still looks cool. So I want to leave this one the same way too, and this one makes more sense, but make sure that your bracket is high enough so that those won't drag, and I'll show you when they're done. It should hang something like this. So just measure up the um, length of the vein, plus the fact that the bracket's got to be a little bit higher than that. See those brackets right in there? Okay, back in there. All right, 